what is up guys? I am Zeke and welcome to a reaction video of mine. I don't know what I'm gonna call this series. It might just be like Zeke reacts or something like that. But as you can see by the title, I'm reacting to one of my old videos and trying to clarify how I feel about it now because one like one thing that's important to note is that like as much as I disagree with what I'm saying in the video, I'm not going to take it down. I took down a video once and I highly regret it because I I want nearly 100% transparency with my channel. Like my channel I want you to see how it's changed, what I've done in the past, things that I'm not proud of, things that I am proud of. I want you guys to see a bunch of things on my channel. Some of them you'll hate, some of them you'll love, but I want you to just know that like, I used to be a certain person at one point. I used to think a certain way at some point. I'm not proud of it, but why hide it? That's that's not gonna help any. In fact, I did that with one video. It was, it was talking about religion. I think it was titled like, let's talk about my religion or something like that, but I took it down because I was discussing me uh, back then leaving the church, which is kind of funny because, because I am more in the belief that I had in that video than I was at that time. And I took it down because I went back to the church. Uh, instead of just clarifying in like an update video, like, hey, I'm actually not agnostic anymore. Which is funny, because at this point, I'm like pretty much atheist. <laughs> anyway, going back to this, there was one video of mine that I, I look back on. It's definitely got some issues and I'm not proud of it. Okay, so just for some context, if we look at my videos, this is kind of the, like when I got my laptop, I actually had my own official setup with an actual computer. That was, I called it my, what the, it's, it's probably my Iron Age, because it's like the third phase to my channel. At this time, videos were a lot better and I felt more confident as a person, because I was kind of a jackass. <laughs> I, I dropped my kind of my soft people pleaser goofball uh, persona that I had when I was a freshman and in eighth grade because I was fed up with people's shit. And so I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna embrace this. So I became an agnostic, I became hard right wing. With these videos, you didn't see much of that because I didn't show them in my videos, uh, except for like only maybe a few. But yeah, I was kind of an asshole. And you see that really clear in this one right here. Why nerds are the worst. Other than this one, I didn't really get too much into politics. I don't, are any of these ones political? Yeah, they never get political again, unless it's something like in a podcast. But going back to this one, why nerds are the worst. That's just one of those, it was very, it was a dumb video of mine and I made it just to get a rise out of people essentially. And I, I've got a serious correctness complex. Nothing in the video screams, this is just my opinion, you might feel different. I feel like like I'm, I'm pushing my opinion like it's straight fact. This was the most political that my videos got, but then you like look at this one I did a little bit because I like talked about feminism, but that was more just like a reaction to Sarah Wayne Callies being that way. This one, that was more just to kind of just to kind of like 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 push down the 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 boundaries on my channel, just kind of say that like anything is welcome. So I'm happy with that one. Like I even say in it, it's like like they are jokes. They don't mean anything. Yeah, it's so it's why nerds are the worst, and I even clarify it in the video. But then I still talk about it like it's not the case. It's just a str like a huge generalization. That's so obvious for me to say, which I like. I hate that I do have to say, but that's the only way that I can put it. Um, in fact, someone. Here, let me get my headphones ready. Dude, look at these bitches. Look at, they, like, they've got the plug-in, but they're fucking Bluetooth wireless. The amount of poon that I get with these things, you have no idea. But then the comments here, like, I even replied to one guy. Um, nerds are the ones who make everything you use in life. And I said, yeah, you know, I made this a long time ago. I definitely have changed my opinion. I'm thinking of making a follow-up video. Hello there. Uh, talking about my change of opinion, but you're definitely right. I'm just gonna be watching it and explaining how I feel now about them. This probably is an unnecessary video, at least in terms of like this extent to react to it directly, but I do obviously feel very different because it's such a stupid video. 
like I said, I'm not taking it down. In fact, I'll even put it in the description if anybody wants to watch it in its full, uh, in its full collection. Get on my, my pussy catching headphones. Fuck yes. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Ah, such a great song. About being a nerd. It's not that great at all. <laughs> being a nerd? Be a bad thing? God damn. I don't know why I thought that that was a good edit to do. But look at that. Weird thing? Oh, that's fucking gross. I don't know what I was trying to aim for with that. Uh, oh, but we'll live with it though. That might be the, that might be the thumbnail right there. Why nerds are the worst group to be around? I don't necessarily have a problem with all nerds. I guess this one is technically from my own personal experience with certain nerds, if you get what I'm saying. I've had sort of a bad run-in with a click of nerds at my school. Again, shouldn't even need to be said then. Like, like I said, I just wanted to get a rise out of people, essentially. It wasn't even to get the views with who I admired at the time. I found it to be a fun thing to piss people off. You know, I was a big fan of Gavin McInnes and uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. I even talked about them in this video. Those guys are contrarians by nature, which more power to them, that's fine. But I think I did it in a bad way because I just kind of come off as an asshole. But I digress. It, not not too important of a part. You know how I am. I draw. I play video games. Of course, I was in the nerd clique in high in my school. But they fucking sucked. <laughs> and this is actually gonna be a little good. more directed. The group that. I had experience with instead of all nerds. I know that all nerds are like this. And before we get started, I just want to say one thing. There is a difference between nerds and geeks, all right? Nerds are the brainiacs. These are the ones that are top in the class. These are the ones that spend at least three hours or more doing homework in one night. Where it- Oh, wait. Three? Even the dumbass kids have like seven hours worth of homework. <laughs> Every single class that they take, unless they take a bunch of fluff ones. Every single kid has at least six assignments. And no assignment takes... And those assignments don't take ten minutes apiece. No, no, no. Every fucking kid, no matter how smart or how nerdy, they fucking had like six hours plus of homework. Is three. Geeks. That's cute. I wish I only had three. What they like. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, that that looks bad. Not as smart. <laughs> That's fucking mean. <laughs> That's not fair. No, I I do have to say though. I still uphold this to this day. Like I tell everybody about the difference between nerds and geeks. Nerds are, again, I don't want to say this because it sounds mean. Okay, geeks are essentially just nerds, but they care more about pop culture than they do about their intellectual endeavors. Not that they aren't smart, it's just they care more about the creative arts than they do uh, like STEM fields, you know? So like if, if you were to go to different schools, a nerd would generally go to a trade or like a law school a geek would generally go to a liberal arts school to take uh, like artistic design or some class. I don't even know what classes are in uh, liberal arts schools. <laughs> However, I don't, I don't hate nerds though because this video is so stupid. <laughs> I just, here's the thing, just to get it all out of the way, I guess, I just had, I just hung out with a group of assholes. That's all it was. They were just kind of dicks. But, well, they were dicks in my opinion. I apologize if they are watching this now because uh, I know all of them fairly well post school and they're all good people like like I still talk to some of them they're good people now uh, I still talk to I still talk to them whenever I see them but 
but it was just like this group. I should have just said like my experience with the nerd group instead of why nerds are the worst. That still would have been a good title. They have no culture. These are the kids that listen to Mozart Shut up, all the time when they're doing homework and stuff. Now, they don't really have any, they don't really have like a favorite movie, favorite TV show, favorite band. These are the kids that just do homework, go to school, repeat. Basically, that's all that they do. And okay. And most, they will <laughs> listen to Mozart for entertainment. Or watch, I don't know, silent movies. Who the, f Who the fuck watches silent movies? <laughs> Documentaries would have been a much better way to put it. What I should have said is that they actually listen to, to early jazz. Which I fucking listen to early jazz because that shit gets my... I twiddle all diddling, if you know what I'm saying. They think that they're better than everyone else. They think that they're better than everyone else. What do I have to say about that? There's kind of a point there, uh, but every group has that, you know? Like, both political sides have it. The left thinks that they're better than the right. The right thinks that they're better than the left. Religious people think that they're better than atheists. Atheists think that they're better than religious people. Jocks think that they're better than nerds, and vice versa. It's just with everybody. I think I, I was just biased against this group because I didn't agree with them. And, and I talk about that later on, which is something huge. I guess it's true. It's a valid point. But so does everybody. Everybody's a dick. <laughs> I'm just a self-aware dick now. They're all liberals. These are the kids that um, don't like Trump. They, uh, they like Bernie. They like communism, pretty much. They like socialism. Starbucks. And this is hard for a kid like me, because, I mean, you've seen from my older videos, I am a conservative kid. I like Trump. I do. And this has gotten me a lot of fucking backlash hanging out with that group. And I actually have one specific story in mind for this situation. I was sitting there with the nerds at lunch, you know, eating my sandwich, my pubbage sandwich. Pubbage sandwich. sandwich. About a video from H3H3, where, um... Uh, Ethan did a review on Zarna Joshi, just the best feminist of all time. And he was going through and he was like, you know, she's trying to make all these points. She's freaking referencing WikiHow as her websites, as her sources. And then he said, WikiHow these nuts. Oh, sorry for the crassness. Hope I didn't just rape you. Because earlier in the video she talked about how, like, pretty much anything can be classified as rape if a woman feels uncomfortable sexually. That is technically, that, that's rape anyway. If you ever do anything that may, that involves sex or intimacy at all, and it makes women uncomfortable, you're a rapist. Yeah, you should be charged a fine for sexual harassment, um, sexual embarrassment, and, uh, rape. That is how it is. Yes. Now, if you can't tell already, I'm not that politically correct. I'm really not. Fuck fact, you. some of the people that I look God. up the most would be Gavin McInnes and Milo Yiannopoulos. And I was, and I told my friend this story. Now, I have one friend who's more of a geek than a nerd, but he hangs out with the nerds. And one of them that got so fucking pissed at me, just, that's not funny. It's, like, it's kind of funny, who cares? It's just a joke, and it's not like he was wrong about anything that he was saying in that situation. Situation. There was a lot there, but it, it was kind of awkward to stop somewhere in there. So the first part, this is something that I have an issue with, and I and I speak of it a lot more later on. I, I open up more about it, but I essentially said that uh, I didn't like to sit with these guys because they thought differently of me. Fuck you. <laughs> that mentality is exactly why I left politics, uh, why I don't get involved in politics anymore, because because people are proudly tribal. They're proudly ignorant of the opposite end of the aisle. It's ridiculous. And I was I was part of the issue. I, and again, I didn't I didn't hate these guys because I thought that they were bad people. I just hated them because they thought differently of me. You know? Because I wanted to be stuck in my own echo chamber, pretty much. A bit where I said that I wasn't politically correct. What a smug little bastard. <laughs> I would punch that kid. I don't know if that would hurt me. I don't know how time travel works. Yeah, just Jesus Christ. What an asshole. But hey, that kid being an asshole is what has made me try to fix myself today. So maybe, maybe I gotta leave it that way. Now the joke thing 
Yeah, that, I don't feel differently about that. That girl did kinda. Now, you did need the context of the video. I didn't really give the context of the video when I told the joke, but that's kinda, that's kinda funny. Cause she, yeah, she was talking about rape, but then her rape was like hearing a sexually charged joke at a party. I think she said that in the video. And everybody was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so then, yeah, so then Ethan just had like a bro moment. He was like, wiki how these nuts. And he was like, so sorry if I raped you. It's kind of funny. Uh, she didn't find it, which like, I, yeah, I don't agree with her there. But no, that's just my problem with this kid. And why I wanted to talk about this was because I shoved myself into an echo chamber. I'm around people all the time that don't agree with me. People don't agree with me at all where I live because everyone here is right wing and religious and I'm a I'm pretty much an atheist that doesn't even vote. And it's hard to be around people that are here. But and again, I can't blame myself. I'm just a fucking kid. I got myself involved in like adult level topics when I was 15. I'm 15 years old here. I don't fucking understand how the I don't understand how the world works now and I'm an adult. This kid doesn't know shit. So like I can't I can't say that I was a horrible person. I was just dumb. I was a dumbass and a jackass. They're all atheists, too. These are the kids that are Darwinists, if anything. They need fact to back up everything that they have because faith is just a load of bullshit to them, and you need to see it to believe it. My whole mantra when I was at that age was fucking facts don't care about your feelings. Facts come first. What the fuck? This is why I'm not religious. It's... <laughs> oh. Oh, God. This video is probably going to be just as controversial as this one. But, well, it's funny because I think coming up I say... I think I say something like, uh... Like, I... Like, I'm... But I'm... I'm a Christian again and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Literally changed a year and a half later. <laughs> Uh, being a teenager is fun. Those aren't wrong, though. That's why I don't consider myself... That's why I kind of lost faith. That's why I never bought into faith. That's why I was always skeptical, because facts should come before everything. They should. Facts should come before everything. That doesn't mean that everything else is obliterated, just completely forgotten about. But facts should come first. And, yeah, you kind of need to see it to believe it. This is one of the big reasons why I left kind of the first time and the second time. How could I sit there with charges of rape, charges of murder, charges of hate crimes, charges of police brutality? How could I sit there and say, we can't speak on these until we have 100% physical, evidential validation to actually give a case on it? Yet, I turn a blind eye to that when it comes to religion and say that it's about faith and about belief. Like I literally just say here that the facts aren't important with religion, yet I also say facts don't care about your feelings. Jesus Christ. That I made a video a while back talking about how I was now an agnostic, but I'm an emotional teenager that changes his mind all the time. Clearly. And I have <laughs> come to terms with the fact that being an agnostic fucking sucks. Because I was more miserable as an agnostic than I was as a Christian. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. You weren't you weren't miserable as an agnostic. Because newsflash kid, you're fucking happy as an atheist. You weren't miserable as an atheist, you were miserable as an asshole. The only reason that I was agnostic at the time was because I was I was maliciously selfish. And another part of it was I really wanted to please my parents, even though I didn't act like it. And there was there was a period where I was just kind of like, man, life just kind of fucking sucks right now. And my dad was like, well, faith is a big helper in that. And so I was like, oh, okay, so I'm actually Christian. No, 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 no. I was just in a bad state of mind, and I didn't know how to handle it. I was, I was happier, way happier than before. So yeah. I am now a Christian again, and I honestly don't expect it to change anytime soon, and it's hard <laughs> being Dumb bitch. a young Christian around a couple of Darwinist atheists and, and agnostics. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, though. Because I was, com I was confident enough to leave the church and then go back, why am I not 
comfortable with where I stand when the opposing viewpoints come towards me. If someone's going to attack my religion, am I really just going to walk away because I don't know how to defend it? That's fucking pathetic. Don't take a stance on anything. Like, this is how I look at things. Don't take a stance on fucking anything if you can't handle the opposing viewpoint coming against you. Now, I guess you could maybe argue that some people just aren't good with confrontation, but that's not what I'm, that's, that's a completely other thing. That's a separate battle to take care of on its own. We're talking about the ideas themselves. You should only fully adopt an ideology of any kind, whether it's religious or political, or just full, or like philosophical even, when you have objectively looked into it in whichever method that takes to say, I am confident in this because of A, B, and C. You believe in X, Y, and Z. Let's see where we can cooperate on this. This kid just wanted to follow ideologies because they were the cool ones to follow. It was cool to be a dank meme kid. It was cool to be politically incorrect. It was cool to be an asshole to people and then call them snowflakes and little bitches when they got offended by it. It's easy, it's fun to call people triggered. And it's easy for me to be Christian because everybody in my town was Christian. But then kids would confront me on it and say, why do you believe this then? And I would just be like, no, fuck you. Absolute horse shit. Again, I, I'm giving myself a pass. He's a kid. Like that. Because I'm an easily influenced kid. And like, I like to be around people that are into my interests and sort of have the same beliefs as me because I feel like that can help me thrive even more instead of pushing my religion down into the ground which is kind of what happened after a while hanging out with that again kid. again going back to this going back to this see this this is the fucking problem here let's listen back to that I'm an easily influenced kid and like okay. I like to be around people that are into my interests and sort of have the same beliefs as me because I feel like that can help me thrive even more instead of pushing my religion down into the ground, which is kind of... Again, if you can't handle people... I'm yelling at myself. If you can't handle people going up against your belief system, then don't have that belief system. And don't put yourself next to people that think like you because that's not a proper method of teaching. All right? Say that... That... Under... Under certain variables and under certain contexts, that sentence can kind of make sense. All right, if I'm Christian, I should go to church because that is probably the best social environment where I can learn about the Bible. That doesn't mean that I should ignore other groups and only listen to Christians about any life matter just because they agree with me on God. I willingly put myself into an echo chamber so that my own viewpoints could be validated instead of someone confronting them like they should to see if I'm actually wrong on the matter. Because guess what? I was. I was wrong on both of these. I'm center liberal now, and I'm not religious whatsoever. And this kid, I'm sorry, I thought someone was in the apartment. And this kid only wants to be around people that think like him because he doesn't want to be pressured into what he thinks. Even though I did research, I actually studied politics, at least the hot button topics. Like I knew about the wage gap when I was 15 and I knew that it was bullshit. But this kid still only wanted to be around people like him because it massaged his ego. Jesus Christ, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I mentioned this a little bit, but that Thrive thing, that could potentially be valid to say that like you need to thrive with your beliefs so that you can be your own individual person. That's fair. Don't shove yourself into an echo chamber though. Thrive with your beliefs by studying them as your own person. Study them yourself. Don't go to other people when you need to learn where you are on the political spectrum or whether you believe in God or not. That's your own thing. That's not going to a group that thinks the same way as you so that they can tell you, no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're absolutely right, there's nothing wrong with what you're saying, you're good. No, I'm not good. I'm, t I'm fucking terrible. Seeing like their points for everything like that, I sort of was just like, what if it's true? What if, like, what if there's no God? <laughs> Did 
Did I just mock skepticism? Does this kid not realize that he didn't believe in God two months before this video? <sighs> if this kid was an adult today, I don't want to know how I would hammer down. Well, it would probably be the same, but like, I gotta clarify, he's like, I am just a kid here. And I'm glad that I've changed my ways, but I'm, I'm mocking second thought. I'm mocking considering every possibility. I'm mocking the scientific method, essentially. Or, well, I don't, that's not the best way to put it, but just skepticism. You need skepticism. Start from level zero. Don't start at one or two. Start at zero and see which one works. And if you're on one, see what, I shouldn't have to explain this because I would hope that everybody here is smart enough to realize that this is ridiculous. Number one on our list, they're hypocrites. Really, they are. Here's the way that it works with the nerds. They think this sort of fits with, this sort of fits in with, they think that they're better than everyone else. And this is a reason why. They are the kids that are like, you know, if there's ever an outcast at the school, we're willing to take them in. We're willing to take in anybody that isn't really liked by other people, because we're willing to help people have some friends. And while they do that, instead of bringing in people from other groups, per se, they judge them. They just sit there and judge them, and then they get mad at those groups for judging other people. Which is exactly what they're doing. Now, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I'll give you a scenario. You got a new kid. Pretty socially awkward, you know? New to town, doesn't have a lot, doesn't really know a lot of people. So he's just like, sits in the corner and is just like... And so, what the nerd group does is they're like, You know what? This kid looks lonely. I think we're gonna let him sit over by us, you know? Give him some friends. And then they're like, hey man, you know? If you ever need a friend to talk to or you ever want to hang out, you know, hit us up. And so let's say the next day a jock sees what they're doing. And he's like, well, I kinda I kinda like that. That's a nice thing. I think I might go sit by them. And so then the jock sits by them and they treat him like shit for being a jock. Because jocks, all that they do is judge people. Even though that's exactly what they're fucking doing to the jock. And I've seen this happen. They told me straight up. I think that's a valid point. Kind of. Kind of. Half valid. Uh, hypocrisy definitely is a problem with some people. But, again, that is very specific. For one reason why I'm not okay with how I structured this video is that's very specific to just the people that I knew. That definitely is kind of messed up because they are going against their core message of, of being an accepting... People, but devil's advocate they have a right to association if they don't like who the jocks are fundamentally they don't have to bring them in yeah it does contradict what they stated but they could sit they could bring whoever they want to their table that's fine they don't need to have the jocks sit at their table the jocks have their own me personally if someone was just like hey I think you guys are cool I want to sit by you I'd be like fuck yeah sit down so that point is like half okay the other half is it this video is a reach <laughs> I'm fucking stretching it just to try and just to try and make my point or, or make my point that nerds are the worst when really it's just one group that I knew was an asshole at one period of time okay uh, that's it for that video Jesus I'm embarrassed of that video I really am I'm not gonna take it down I'm proud that it's up I'm proud that I left it up fuck that was that was bad that was really bad this was who I was back at this time. I made generalizations. I indulged my own viewpoints to make myself feel better. I joined things when they were convenient or just cool. And I am really striving to not have that be the case anymore. I'm around people that don't agree with me all the time. Because the things that I don't agree with are very, very common where I live. I don't touch on politics because I never have cared about them, but I also understand that like what is what is the point of me talking about them saying that like this policy or that president is an issue 
when I'm not even going to try to do anything about it. That's why I don't vote, but I digress. Uh, but I'm around people all the time. My dad is very political and he's very conservative. I'm a bit... I don't even... I don't consider myself on the political spectrum because I'm not involved in politics. But also, my best friend right now, extremely religious. And I have critiqued him and criticized him on his religion, but I'm glad to know that he's okay with that. You know? And I'm okay with having a religious friend. I'm okay with hearing about religious doctrine. This kid just wanted to be around people like-minded. He thought it was cool to believe what he believed, so he didn't want to listen to the people that were on the ass end of what he believed, because at the at the end of the day, this kid can't change the fact that he's kind of got a guilt complex. And he still does. But at the time, he wanted to live as though he didn't. But he's too empathetic to be that way. And I have controlled my empathy now. I haven't completely gotten rid of it. You know, I know when to use my empathy. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that video. Plus, I thought that a reaction would be fun. That's all it is with that video. I just wanted to clarify. Obviously, I don't think like that anymore. And I don't want to think like that. So I hope that you understand my perspective now. I hope that you understand this is how I actually do feel about it. Um, but that's all I have to say. Uh, this was Zeke reacting to Artman 239. And that's all I have to say. See you guys next time. Bye.